Live? Now we're live. Wait, are we live? We are live. We're live. Boom. No, boom. Here we go, folks. Yes, it is the travel edition of the Blue Monkey Quarantina. Thank you. Now, I'm acting like I'm talking to some people out there because they're watching it. But little do you know that everybody that typically watches the show is sitting inside this room. <laughs> so if you're out there, God bless you. Thanks for coming. It is season three, episode 36. And we have been here playing a little soccer, competing. Yeah. And uh, we didn't make it. But we did well. We did well. And uh, I've got your cocktail tonight. It's the competition of cocktails. They don't even know it. But I got two cocktails that we're going to compete against each other. It's a long story. Yeah, you know there's history. But <clears throat> come on in. Uh, the travel edition. Blue Monkey Quarantina. The only business <clears throat> is monkey business. By the way, we are doing the uh, quarantine brown derby cocktail. Yes, you heard it right. I heard it live. The brown derby. Ooh, the brown, brown derby. derby. Cheers to everybody right here. Hey! Hey! I pay people off all the time. I mean, it's sad, but that's how I have friends, and I'm proud to admit it. So, if it takes a t-shirt to make a friend, that's why I have a thousand t-shirts. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, here we are. So, this is the uh, quarantine uh, cocktail show, travel edition, and um, for some of you that are new, here's how it works. I drink all day. You've already been part of that. <laughs> then I try to remember history and tell you something uh, that is true, but I gotta remember it all. Tonight is a special treat though. I normally make how many cocktails when I do a show? Two. Two, one for me, one for you. The same cocktail, but tonight we have some competing cocktails. So here's the thing you know about cocktails. There's always a, a twist in history. Like there's always like people say, no, 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 here's where it came from. No, 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 I invented it. This one is the ultimate competition. 1933, we're going to Hollywood, all right? Famous for the Brown Derby. So this is this building, it's a club restaurant, and it looks like a Brown Derby. And uh, down the street, <clears throat> history tells us that there is the Vendome Cafe. And the Vendome Cafe apparently creates a cocktail, they call it the Brown Derby, and this already doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, why would another bar make a cocktail named after a place down the street? But they did. So history tells us. And uh, so this is 1933, and the uh, nobody knows about it until enter George Buzza. So George Buzza is this guy who lives on the East Coast. He actually owned and created the largest green card company back in the 30s. Retires, goes out west. L.A. because we love L.A. and he decides that he uh, is bored and he wants to create a, a little advertisement, a, kind of a gimmick, and he writes what's called the Hollywood Favorite Cocktails. <clears throat> Basically, he picks like 50 bars, clubs, and and discovers what they're known for, and then puts them in a book, pictures, all that, and that is when the Brown Derby is kind of becomes famous. This is a great story. Here's a problem. Uh, Jeff, I'm, I'm gonna need your help here. Uh, I, I, I like you. Folks, have you, have you seen this book yet tonight? Have I, this is not a magic trick, but are, have I shown this to you? Have you not seen this book? You've not seen this book. Take that book, sir. Now, I told you about the Brown Derby. Here's what's funny about the Brown Derby. George Buzza and the Brown Derby and then Gnome Cafe would say that they created 1933. The book I handed you is a copy of the Savoy Cocktail Book, written by Harry Craddock in 1930. I've marked a page. The Bees. Will you read me the Brown Derby? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Folks, we're going to take a pause. <laughs> oh, <laughs> If you don't realize we do these live, we actually really do <laughs> really these, live. these live. The Brown Derby, the um, Bees. Go to the Seas. Go to the Seas. Yeah. So I marked the pages to make this easier. Did you grab the wrong person? Now, I, I 
to be fair, is there a brown derby in there? There is not. There is not. Oh, see, I was set up. You were set up. There now, hold on to that book. Because I'm going to share really quick what the recipe calls for. The recipe is going to call for whiskey, grapefruit juice, and honey syrup that I have made especially for you all. Sir, will you please go to the other marked page and go to the D's. D's. Are you ready? I'm there. Is there a recipe for a Derager cocktail? Do you see the Derager? Derager. Will you read the ingredients? Half whiskey, half ounce or a quarter ounce grapefruit juice, quarter ounce honey. Boom, cracked ice. So, here's the thing. Thanks, sir, for your participation. You've done a wonderful job. You can take a bow. You can take a bow. Take a bow. So, what's fun about this is, what history tells us, is that what is believed is George Buzza didn't create this cocktail. He found it in a book that was printed earlier in England, recycled it, put it here. The only difference he made is that in the original recipe, it called for whiskey. When he wrote it, he said it had to be bourbon. So I brought our bourbon. Now, this is all great. We have a good history story. We know where the Brown Derby cocktail came from. But we don't. Because you got to go to the East Coast. Because here's the problem. The Brown Derby never served the Brown Derby cocktail. And everybody thinks this is a Hollywood story that lives out there. The Brown Derby cocktail actually was out on the East Coast of the country in New York, and in 1930, in Esquire magazine, they actually published the Brown Derby. Here's the problem. It didn't have whiskey at all. It had dark rum. And while this had grapefruit, this had limes. And while this had honey syrup, this had maple syrup. So tonight, we're going to make both brown derbies. All right. You will decide which is the best brown derby. Yeah. So, Yay. are you ready to drink? Because that's kind of the part of the show okay. you know, we get to. So, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh. nine, ten. I've lost track. I don't know. I have a lot of people. So, uh, we're going to see if we can do this. We're going to... I've lost track. Uh, we're going to do one over here, one over here. We'll make a bunch. You guys can taste it. One for me and one for Shelby. We'll start there. I promise everybody will get one. Uh, Shelby, are you counting? Do we have enough cups? Doesn't matter. It was deemed the traditional, the original recipe. So it's pretty simple. Uh, both of these are great because they are literally uh, three ingredient drinks, which are my favorite because I drink a lot. And I can't remember more than three ingredients at the time. So it's a, it's a whole thing. Uh, but all it is is two ounces of uh, bourbon, so I do have to count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, it's eleven, twenty-two ounces of bourbon, uh, oh, by the way, it's my favorite sound in the world. <laughs> how many ounces, why, or should we just be making that in the, well, in the whole bottle? We'll, we'll, how about I make two right now, Okay. and then I'll make, no, well, yeah, screw that, I can't fit twenty-two. No, you cannot, <laughs> I know, that's my point, keep uh, you going. Know what? Hold on, I'm going to make six. And I'll pour them small. Right. Problem solving live people. So that was two. That was a little more. Three. Four. Five. And six. Those are all two ounce pours. Then you're coming in with uh, one ounce of grapefruit juice. Folks, this is a grapefruit. What I did to bear some time is already squeezed like three grapefruits. So uh, I'm saving time. Are they going with six? Mm -hmm. Six things. So I need uh, six ounces. One over two, three. If you're wondering why I went, oh, it's like, is this going to fit? Four, five, six. And then we're coming in with homemade honey syrup. Made it before I came here. This is local honey uh, back home in Cincinnati. And, uh, and, and water, it's all it is, boil it together, it's great, always make your own. And uh, we're gonna go, one, two, three, four, five, and, oh my gosh, six. 
things. Okay, now, pause, because I don't have enough room to shake all of that, because it's excessive. It's excessive, people, and that's what we do. Uh, don't worry about that. All right, coming in. Okay. Whoa. So sometimes, I admit, I get a little excited. I get nervous in front of the camera, and I forget things. Tonight, I almost forgot this. Our sponsor of our show that has never admitted it, emergency. So, uh, from the very beginning of the quarantine cocktail, we have added a little emergency that every cocktail. It's why we're still healthy, alive, and well. Emergency, they don't like to claim it, but we'll do it for you. Saving lives, emergency. So, uh, <laughs> we got to add a little bit of that. Uh, to it, and it's a wonderful mix. And then we have to pause. I do that thing here, people. That one's good. Wait, <laughs> does, just, does, does that qualify as a blender drink now? <laughs> no, we are not blending any drinks. All right. We got to give this a shake. You though. know it's going to be asked. I know. Now we can pour it all back together because we have to keep it. Then we can come in and, I know, good lord. This is not the traditional. It's probably a better way to do this. Stay. Actually, we're going to have enough. Plenty, actually, is probably the better term. So, in front of us right here, folks. Longest show ever, by the way, is the record I was going for today. Actually, you're keeping it kind of tight. I'm really? Impre I'm, yeah. right. I'm impressed. All right. Um, sadly, though, uh, that's our grapefruit, right? I I gotta garnish it, and I, I hate this, but I have to. I um. You're gonna do garnishes on all of them? Huh? You truly are not an animal. I I'm not an animal, but no drink goes ungarnished, people. So we're gonna put a little piece of grapefruit in everyone because you're all special. You're all my little snowflakes and I love you all. <laughs> Even me? Huh? Even me? Especially you. Especially you. You are a large snowflake. What? I have to do more snowflake. Now, before we can drink that one, we have to do one thing. We've got to make the other one. So, uh, ignore that. Hold, hold. Hold, please. Well, you can't pour that I, out. I, I, trust me, I know. I, we sound a little left over. That we're coming in. It's all good. Now we have to make the other, the East Coast. The East Coast, which I believe, I, I don't want to uh, influence anybody, but I think this one could be the winner. Uh, so, coming in, same recipe, same uh, ratio, uh, two on, uh, two. Don't cover up the girdle. So, uh, two, one for you. Is this one rum? Three. This is rum. Do we have rum fans? Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, six. Oh, yeah. That's back here. Oh, there's no way this is going to fit. Let's just, let's just go where we need to go, right? It's, it's there. We know it. it's going to happen. Now, this is a maple syrup. Paul, is it just straight maple syrup? No, it's a simple syrup made with maple. The problem is, is you can put straight honey in a cocktail and you can put straight maple syrup, but it's really hard to mix. So you dilute it with water, it's a lot easier. <clears throat> we did that once. I did. I learned this the hard way. It was gloopy. I broke one glass yeah. in a show, cut my hand open, and it was because I used like it, it, straight up honey. Apart. So uh, this is a maple syrup, simple syrup. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then coming in with lime juice. Now these ones I have to do. I got to squeak. No, I'm lying. I, I did that one too. That was, good Lord. You got to do Scared me there. Two, four, five, and... There. Oh, thank you. Finally. And then shake. Shake, shake, shake. 
Uh, emergency, double header tonight. Emergency, you're getting credit for two cocktails tonight. Saving lives, all the way from 1930. Uh, little sprinkle in there. And we're gonna call this shaking. It's not, I know. We're a little lazy, it's all good. I know, don't judge me, don't judge. You're not being the proper method. Thank you. Now, I, oh, I'm absolutely gonna use our, and then we're coming in with our East Coast, oh boy. It, it doesn't show up on film, that's the beauty. My drink is actually on the counter. <laughs> Double fist. Might have to share. <clears throat> Coming over this way. Get two, two. All right, got one more. Somebody might have to share. Can you share? All right. Shell, ready? Here we go. Here's one. All right, so let's go grapefruit. So find a grapefruit one first. You ready? Which one's that? Yeah. Grapefruit, that's, that's, the, that's the pinkish white looking fruit that's floating in it versus the green line. I don't know, I don't know color. <laughs> I didn't study. I don't know tell me there's a test. As long as there's a big, not a big soccer ball coming at you. So, Can we do a test? Uh, yeah. yeah, cheers. Yeah. HHC. 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 Great tournament. Cheers. cheers. So, here we go. Oh, so that's good. That's good. Yeah. Nice little bourbon, that grapefruit cuts it, sweetness. So that's the uh, supposedly that original. It? Switch it over, go to line. Now we're going dark rum, still sweetness, all that. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. All right, so show of hands. Grapefruit, show of hands, bourbon. There's our bourbon. Who says rum? Oh, Let's New go. York in the house. <laughs> East Coast. Oh, there it is. Here's what I can tell you. Uh, and we have a few mail-ins, by the way. What's that? We have a few mail-ins, by yeah, the way. Yeah, but those are mail-ins. I'll be counting. Yeah. yeah. Here's what I know. Uh, right here, if you're sitting at home and you have an opportunity to be with friends after a great weekend with two cocktails in your hand, Folks, that's a good night. And on that, I say cheers to everybody out there. Cheers to everybody from HEC, because uh, we didn't win a tournament, but we hey, we went two in two. It's, it's, nice. It's, 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 cheers. 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 <laughs> Folks, thanks for coming tonight. Go make a brown derby. Decide for yourself <laughs> what do you like, rum or bourbon. I like them both. Out. Cheers. <laughs>